So right now that we have a storefront already set up, right? The question is how we can turn a storefront into an drywall. So there are like different sort of like ways that you can come up with drywalls in Revit. I would say like drywalls or any sort of like light metal um, framings and stuff. So what I suggest is instead of like trying to use the plugins, what if we get to learn how to do the um, drywalls or I would say any sort of like um, framing walls manually. Once you know the uh, logic, once you know the technique, then whatever sort of, I would say, drywall that you have in your project, you would be able to easily model that up. So that is, I would say, the main purpose of this video that you're working on. So in order to do so, first you need to know uh, generally how the um, curtain wall or, st or uh, storefront is working. So if you don't know like how to work with the storefront, you can just simply check the video on the storefront that we're going to put it on. Now, if you know like how to work um, generally, I would say with the curtain wall, it's time to turn this curtain wall into an drywall. The very first thing that we need to know is uh, how we would be able to, again, adjust uh, mullions and panels in general, meaning that this time, unlike the curtain wall that we're trying to work with, we're not working, I would say, on one specific spot, spot, on like one specific panel that we were working with. We want to do some sort of like settings that can apply to all the panels. For that purpose, if you go on the project browser, under the families, we actually have some settings under the curtain walls. So we have curtain panels, and we have curtain wall mullions. Let's start from the curtain wall mullions. But like before that, I wanna make sure that I actually duplicate this wall so then I can turn this wall into a drywall without touching this wall. So what I'm gonna do is to select that wall, go on the edit type and duplicate that wall and put it as a drywall. Select drywall. Now I still want to save the settings that I have, meaning that every single uh, 60 centimeters I wish to have a vertical grid, and also every single one meters I wish to have a horizontal grid. The same mullions I still wanna have, so I'm gonna click on okay. Now what I need to have is to turn mostly the materials. And I would say some sort of like uh, further settings in terms of panels, so then I can end up with, um, I would say, an drywall. To do so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply go on the project browser here under the component as or under the families that we said. I'm going to scroll down till I see the curtain wall mullions. I'm just going to uh, go with that drop down, go all the way to the rectangular mullions that you have. Open that up. So that is the type of the mullions that so far we were using. So I need to right click on that and place on duplicate. Then, for example, I'm going to put it as a wooden profile. Hit on enter and then double click on it. So then the window will show up. Here, whatever sort of setting that you put on will get automatically applied to all the uh, I would say 15 times um, 50 in terms of size for that specific mullion that we have, right? But like we have to assign that to our wall. To do so, first of all, let's say we need to change the material. So we'll go there. We want to make sure that we are using a wooden material. So I'm going to type there on wood. And among the wood materials that we have, let's say I want to go with the one which is the one for the profiles or the door frames. Let me see if I can see that. Let's say among them, this could be also working. So I make sure to load that in. 
click on replace and then double click on it so then that material will show up here so you're all good here another thing that you guys need to know is that we have like a thickness and the dimensions so those are i would say the only dimensions and settings that you can actually adjust or modify the size of the mullions that you wish to have so if for example you want to you want to change the size of the stud that you're using here's the way how you can do that you have to like manipulate the value for the thickness or here on that part and also like remember that the sum of these values will be stand for this value so that's the way how it is and this is the thickness so you can change these values to come up with your actual stud values or like horizontal ones or the vertical ones the way how you want it to be but like so far we're fine so i'm not just gonna like i'm not gonna like touch these i'm just gonna go with whatever it is then we're having offset and angle since um it's pretty much the case that like we want to follow again we're not going to touch those but like if you wish to have an um rotation or like any sort of offset that's the place you need to input your values so so far we're all fine i'm just going to click on ok and then what i need to do is to select that wall and assign that uh, mullions to it so i'm going to go to the edit edit type and there here this time instead of rectangular mullion i'm going to go with the wooden profile so go with the wooden profile wooden profile same make sure to choose all of them as the wooden profile and click on apply so as you can see right now the material that i'm having is actually getting changed with the wooden one let me put that on realistic so as you can see they're all getting changed to the um, wooden kind of material also i wish to get rid of this door glass panel that i'm having so i'll get here i'll select that a door panel i'll go there and i make sure to choose a solid one so suppose that into in that like specific drywall that we are using some part of like this drywall for the purpose of like structural or let's say any sort of like mechanical like plumbing or electrical uses we might have like some spaces that are closed up right now what i need to do is to modify my panels so to do so i'm just going to collapse the curtain wall mullions because no longer going to work with it going to go with the curtain panels and then here under the curtain panels see if like you can see these solid ones solid right click on it do the duplicate and put it as wooden panel hit the enter double click on it and uh, for example what i need to do is to make sure that the material is all the same with the studs that i that i was using previously so i'm gonna type their wood for example the door frame mullion is the one that i was looking for so i will double click on it it will get a sign also what i want to have is that i don't want to have any sort of like thickness uh, like i would say offset so i would just like put on zero value on the offset so once you have like in zero value this means that the panels will be starting exactly from the center line of the wall and will cover all the way to the thickness that you put on so if you guys remember the mullions that we were having we're having 15 centimeters in terms of thickness so i'm gonna apply the same thing here and then click on okay so now we need to just like make sure to assign this um uh, wooden panels to our wall so i'm gonna go to the edit type there and here up there you're having curtain panels right now is on none so i can select there and scroll down among all the i would say wall compositions that like we have so far you can even like assign them or you can assign the wooden panel that we just did together so among them you can see the system panel wood panel i applied that to there so automatically it's gonna get applied to all of these panels 
click on apply, click on OK. And as you can see, all the panels are perfectly getting aligned with the studs and getting filled up here, right? So that is the way how you guys are supposed to do the wooden, I would say, studs on and the panels. So this way, all the drywalls are perfectly done. I would say the core part of the wall. Now it's time to add on the different layers. So I'll show you guys how to add on the different layers. Unfortunately, um, since this is a customized way of like uh, making the drywall, you guys have to break in the other layers, meaning that we would not be able to have all the wall composition as one element. So as long as much as like, um, material layer that you're going to add to this wall you're going to have like all these materials getting placed together but like as different or independent i would say element so you need whenever you wanted to do a sort of modification you have to apply that to all of them so this kind of like make the drywall a bit tricky but like that's the only way right now that manually you can uh set up a precise drywall uh, suppose that we're having like an um, door here, but like before that, let's make sure that we already have all the layers of our drywall. So to do so, I'm going to go to architecture, to the wall, going to go to the edit type, but like first make sure to choose a generic one. So I'm going to go with the generic 200 millimeter, go on the edit type, duplicate, and for example, I'm going to go with gypsum. So I'm just going to assume that this wall, um, apart from the core stud, uh, I would say, uh, part, we're only going to have two more gypsum, which is going to get placed at each end of the wall. So going to click on OK, then going to go to the edit, make sure that the thickness of the wall is 0.2, go on the uh, material category and put on an gypsum material on. Click on OK, and then you can go to the level one and make sure that the wall that you're trying to put on is going all the way from level one to level two. I would put this on finish face exterior. Let's start this wall from the other end. So as you can see, I'm trying to perfectly align this other um, gypsum material to the one that already existing in terms of the stud ones or I would say like the wooden frame so now let's get to the 3d view so as you can see you're having like in perfect, I would say, uh, final uh, composition in terms of the drywall, only for six meters. Now, the other question is that how we would be able to add on the doors or windows, which is actually super important. So we're just going to go quickly to that. Suppose that we're having a window here. So I'm going to select a window. I'm going to make sure to choose like a bigger size and randomly I'm going to put the window here like that first of all what i need to have is i need to have all these um i would say layers of the wall working together uh, i would say simultaneously or like jointly so for that purpose i'm gonna go on top like there gonna go to the modify and choose join choose join and select that layer like one finish with the other one so that way, both of them will get joined together, which meaning that they would, they would be working together. So if I'm having like an open up at this part, the other part will automatically get opened up too. Now it's time to make a wall opening so that the um, wooden sort of like uh, frame would also automatically realize that this part supposed to be an opening. To do so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the architecture tab. Then I have here wall opening. I'm going to select wall opening here. Then make sure that you are on the front part or let's say any sort of the elevation that you can have your uh, wall exactly face to face. Then I'm going to select the wall that we, we're having. Once you select the wall, then you just simply 
place and boundary. So as you can see, once you place the boundary, automatically that part will get all cut off. So if I put this on wireframe, now you can see that we're no longer having any sort of like the studs getting conflicted with the uh, our window. But like the last part that like we need to know is trying to make sure that these studs are placing in a way that they're supposed to be. So according to the, um, I would say, detailed design drawings, usually it's working like this, that once you're having an opening like a window or door, you're supposed to make sure that these mullions are getting placed exactly aligned on the corners. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring my point viewer on this mullion, press tab until I reach to the curtain grid. Select that, make sure to unpin it, and then using the keyboard um, arrows on your keyboard, trying to make sure that the uh, mullions is getting all the way out of the window. So that's the way how you can make sure that the uh, mullions are perfectly getting placed where they're supposed to be. Again, unpin it and bring it all the way out of the window. That's like more manual way. You can also like use the, um, I would say the move part as well. So right now I'm having the mullions on. The only part which is yet left is some sort of horizontal grid lines. You can either move up the other existing ones or you can add another mullion. I would say let's add another mullion. So I would go on the curtain red, I would go on one segment and try to add one here, as you can see. Do the same thing to here. And then manually try to bring the curtain red on next to the window. So I'm always trying to move up the red lines. That's it. Same, always make sure to select the grid lines instead of the mullions. So right now, if I also, what, what else that I can do? I can make sure to get rid of the already existing mullions that it's conflicting with my door, with my window. So to do so, you just select the curtain and grid that you have, you go with remove. Once you click on remove, you simply select there. And as you can see, that one is getting lost. You can do the same thing if like any other thing is existing here, but since this is not the case, we're all good. I'm gonna go to the 3D view. And here, as you can see, if I put that on realistic, everything is perfectly working with this drywall. So those are the patterns of these studs that are getting happen behind this drywall. You can add as much as layer that you wish, but just like the point is to always join them. So then they can be all working together. But as you can see, without like using any sort of like plugins or something, you guys will be able to add on as much as um, studs or any sort of like wooden profile that you need to set up your drywall. That way you can add, let's say, um, any sort of like way, like a door, window, or any sort of like hidden box containing the plumbings or any sort of like structural purposes. So that's the way how you guys are supposed to create your drywall. So I hope you guys find this video useful and uh, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it yet, as I'm always constantly updating the contents to make sure that you guys are getting to learn new stuff and tricks. Thank you.